scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Lord, we love you with everything that we are and everything that we have. We declare that the name of Jesus alone be exalted. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Blessed is he who comes. So 
Something will happen to you as you sing this song. Just a keyboard. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Shibakata balada. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. There is a cloud of his glory in this place. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it fall on us tonight. <speaking in Spanish> Let it cover all the earth. Let your kingdom come. 
Let it come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom reign. Shiva na 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 se kariya na 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 na. Adonai, Adonai, Lamb of God, You are worthy, say, You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let Your kingdom reign in my life. Adonai. Adonai Everlasting, we declare that you are God. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, let the name of the Lord be exalted. One generation will declare your praise to another, for you are seated upon the throne, mighty, majestic in holiness. We worship you. Lord, we bless you. We give you all the praise. Majesty. Please go ahead and worship him. This is part of the meeting. When we worship him, he makes his presence manifest. Sing unto him psalms. Hymns and spiritual songs make melody from your hearts to the Lord. Let a song rise from your spirit to Him, an expression of deep worship. We open up our hearts, O oh God, and we connect to your spirit. and your voice and worship his holiness. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, 
Give us very strange visitations tonight. Give us strange visitations, oh God. Give us encounters. This is called koinonia. Let it be a place of encounter for us tonight. Hallelujah. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are. We'll forever be chasing after you. We'll be chasing after you, not just the things you can give. Lord, we'll forever be chasing after you. We'll be chasing after you. We will rise from faith to faith. From glory to glory, oh yes, we will rise from faith to faith, from glory to glory, and we'll forever be chasing after you. We'll be chasing after you. I'll forever be chasing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we just want you to know that we love you. We love you with everything. We are gathered here every week. Not just to receive from you, but to express our love to you. Lord, we want you to know that we love you. We love you from the depths of our hearts. We're not using you to get promotion, house, cars, success. But we love you. Go ahead and just express your love for him in one minute. Let him know that you mean business with him. You love him. Not just that you want to receive from him, but you love him.
Alléluia. 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 Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Your word is not an opinion to me. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. For the last time, sing it from the depth of your heart. Jesus, Son of God, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus be glorified. Please sit down. Thank you, Jesus. Just turn to your left and right. Just pat your neighbor on the back. Good evening. And we'll get... Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you because you will bless us remarkably. Hallelujah. We'll just do two things very quickly. Um, we're going to thank God very seriously. While you're seated, I'll prompt you for the manifold blessings of the Lord upon our lives and upon this house. We cannot be ungrateful people. Hallelujah. God has done so many wondrous things in recent time. And um, we owe him thanks. The second thing is that we're going to pray for Nigeria in one minute. Hallelujah. Ah, Pastor Shekri, it's good to see you. Bless you. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray for Nigeria. Um, whether or not you are a Nigerian it doesn't matter so long as you are in this place we are very patriotic citizens and we believe in what God is doing we are going to rise up Mike you play the national anthem once and then we will prophesy into Nigeria and then we will sit down please let's rise can we do that very fanatical about we will contribute our own quota of prayer and prophecy over the nation i believe in this country i believe in what god is doing nigeria is god's firstborn in africa nigeria will return the christ mm. hallelujah nigeria is the holy land that isaiah spoke about it was not just amalgamated by Lord Lugard. There is a prophecy upon our nation. Hallelujah. I want you to know that. If you don't know that, you would think we're just... Um, forget the corruption that you see around and all the things that look like there are armed robbers. There are armed robbers in every nation. There are thieves in every nation. There are touts in every nation. There are poor people in every nation. And um, let's take our eyes off these garbages that the devil tries to bring before us. It is true that there seems to be corruption in the system. But then I want you to know that in the midst of this, God is doing something. And we choose to see what he is doing. It's a choice. Hallelujah. Ready? Okay.
Hallelujah. In one minute, let's lift our voice and prophesy to this nation. We speak to the soul of this nation. Go ahead and pray. Right from the presidency, we speak to the soul of this nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Nigeria remains a place of prophecy. Nigeria remains a habitation of the presence of God. Go ahead and prophesy. In the midst of the corruption, in the midst of all the things that are happening, we declare that the Lord is arising like a mighty one in our midst. We prophesy that Nigeria will step into her prophetic destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, that old proverb will no longer be used in this nation. We speak forth, we declare in the name of Jesus Nigeria will be a place of righteousness. It will be a place of peace. It will be a place of justice. Nigeria will be Beulah and Hepzibah. It will be the desire of nations. We prophesy, we speak over our leaders, we speak over the citizens. We curse Boko Haram in the name of Jesus. We declare that the grace of God is at work in this country. Patriotism becomes our anthem in this country. The banner of godliness will never, never be torn in this country. It will be lifted higher than ever. And Lord, we surrender this nation to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Secondly, let's just lift our voices and thank God for what he's doing through this ministry. The privilege for us to contribute our quota to the advancement of the kingdom. Lift your voice and thank him for the media ministry, the teachings, the impact, the miracles, the testimonies. We are grateful people. We are grateful people. We return all the thanks and the praise. Thank you for the millions of lives that are changed, destinies that are transformed, souls that are saved, encounters. Thank you for churches and ministries, businesses and lives, families, individuals and territories that have been influenced by the hand of God upon our lives I like us to thank God for it Lord we choose to say thank you we are grateful people we are very very grateful people we thank you hallelujah hallelujah now ask the Lord for a visitation tonight he will change us by the power of his word thank you Jesus hallelujah god bless you please be seated welcome everyone especially our visitors who have come from far thank you so much we honor you may the lord bless you in the name of jesus and for those outside we bless you can we give them a big big round of applause thank you <laughs> philippians chapter 4 please i'd like us to be very sensitive tonight because god is going to be touching us um we'll pray we'll just share a few things to charge and admonish our hearts and then we will pray philippians chapter 4 from verse 8 Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 are we there let's read one okay it's projected um, one to read finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, 
if there be any praise it says think on these things hallelujah um one of the very powerful things about working in the kingdom system is the fact that we have the privilege to understand the way God works not just the results we get from him but to be able to understand the dynamics of his operation hallelujah when you go to a herbalist he is not committed to explaining to you how things work praise the Lord he will ask you turn and move backward and you have no right to ask him why you should move backward and he tells you sit down and then he says call the name of whoever you want to kill or whatever you want or the the woman you want to marry or the man or whatever took you to his place call it three times and you have no right to say baba why because if you dare ask why it may cost you that asking alone can bring some sort of punishment are we together now and so when people operate in the world system usually there is a lot of secrecy the process of achieving things in the world is usually kept secret so that um we only see results without understanding the dynamics and the danger there is that it makes only a few people um to be equipped enough to be able to produce those results are we together now the bible tells us that the nation of israel saw the acts of god the results but he said unto Moses, he showed him his way, the dynamics. He guided him through the spiritual principles that were responsible for producing those results. And let me tell you something, your Christian experience is really barren. If all you have in your life is results, without an understanding, a comprehension into the working principles that produce the results. Hallelujah. And so part of the components of kingdom living it's not just to celebrate results. This person was healed. This person was blessed. I prophesied and then there was a result. Or God opened the door. Favor came. Listen, anything you do not understand its process, you cannot have confidence in it. True faith hinges upon understanding. For as long as there is a lot of vagueness in our Christian experience, we will think we are believing in God. But the truth of the matter is that we are just hoping that we are right. The apostle said, but I know whom I have believed. The word no there is not aware. It's an encounter. He's not saying I am aware of him. He's not talking of awareness. I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. That's conviction. I am persuaded that is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. So as we attempt to grow spiritually, remember what I told us spiritual growth is. There are two components that constitute spiritual growth. Number one is the measure of your conformity experientially into the person and the image of the Christ. That's the first spiritual index to measure spiritual growth. The degree to which you are coming into conformity experientially. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The degree to which you are becoming an expression of the Christ. Paul prayed and said, my little children of whom I travail, he said, until Christ be formed in you. So the formation of Christ is the experiential building into your person. And then the release of the fullness of the life, the character, the quality of the Christ. The second component of spiritual growth is your understanding your comprehension of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom it matters that you understand how the kingdom system works hallelujah that way you will be able to function like the christ so when the bible says god made man in his image and after his likeness that's what he was talking about the image of christ is the word glory is the word doxa right in, in the Greek is doxa, in the Hebrew is kabod. It means the essence of a man, the very component that make that man 
whoever he is so the bible says god made man in his image and we know that christ is the express image of god so god created man in christ right he created man to be a reflection of the word a reflection of the christ when he says he made him in his likeness there it talks about functionality that man will function the way the godhead functions are we together now and so the way the godhead creates is the way man should function creatively the way the godhead thinks is the way man should think are we together now and so when we say you are growing spiritually don't don't confuse it we're not just saying you are seeing visions or angels or throwing people under the anointing you can measure your spiritual growth at any point by first examining through the eyes and the mirror of god's word to what degree you are becoming like the Christ experientially. That's the degree to which the fruit of the Spirit is at work in you. The degree to which the Spirit man has gained ascendance over the flesh, right? The degree to which carnality um, is, is, is dead from your life. The degree to which you become heavenly minded. That you set your hearts on the things that are above and not the things that are in the world. And then your understanding of the principles of the kingdom. Listen, listen, listen. It is possible to conform into the image of the Christ and never experientially enjoy the benefits. The benefits of kingdom living. You can conform to the image of the Christ, but then it takes a comprehension of the laws of the kingdom for you to be able to walk in success, prosperity, divine health etc etc hallelujah there are many believers who love god there are many believers who are sincere but sincerity is not the key to victory are we together now it takes more than sincerity to be victorious psalms 82 verse 5 please the bible says they know not so that's the that's the diagnosis Although they are mighty men, verse 1 starts by saying God stands in the congregation of the mighty. And then he begins to question the people. Right? Verse 5 says, they know not, neither will they understand. It says they grow up in darkness, they walk in darkness. And as a result, the earth is out of its course. The next verse says, know ye not, do you not know? Have you not come into this understanding that ye are gods and that all of you not some of you not men of god ye are gods is that true and then he says um um how the, how does he put it now he says know ye not that ye are gods and then he says in verse 7 he says but ye shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes so the question is, they know not. Neither will they understand. Notice there are two things there. Right? Let me tell you something. Wisdom, listen, listen. Wisdom is knowing what to do. Understanding is knowing how to do it. That's why the Bible says, with all your getting, it will still not profit you. Get understanding. The dynamics of his operation. That way your success becomes predictable. It may take time, but I guarantee you for as long as there is the day after a night, your success will be inevitable. Hallelujah. And so as I challenge us week after week, the goal is to help us to gain mastery. Everybody say mastery. To gain mastery over the laws and the principles of the kingdom. So that on the strength of our understanding, we will be able to walk in dominion. You've heard me say it again and again that dominion is not an impartation. There is no such thing as an impartation for dominion. Hallelujah. Dominion is what happens to you when you come into an understanding of the principles of the kingdom. For as long as you live, you will never have a problem wearing a shirt and a trouser or your skirt because there is a principle. Is that true? 
There are all kinds of tailors all around the world, but they produce similar results because tailoring works by principle. Nobody sits down and says, I think like um, turning the clothes this way. There is a formula. Are we together now? Tonight, I just want us to examine two things as we pray that will help us. I'm amazed, brothers and sisters, listen. I'm amazed at how many believers think that because they are born again, automatically their lives will become that desired heaven on its own. Nothing can be farther from the truth. While it is true that salvation gives us access to the fullness of all that Christ has purchased, it takes understanding to walk into the experience of it. The Bible says that God had put all things under his feet. It says, but as it is right now, experientially, we do not yet see all things. Are we together now? And so, so that our Christian experience does not become a circle of frustration, that on one side you are reading your Bible, and you are seeing the blessings and the promises of God. And while it is true that the pie vote of the Christian pursuit is not things. We are not walking. We don't just seek God and pursue him just for things. Hallelujah. The goal is not to get things. However, I want you to know that eventually in your life, you will need consolations to be... Um, they serve as an evidence and as a motivation to your Christian experience. Are you following what I'm saying now? So eventually, when your life refuses to bear fruit, it will begin to challenge your convictions about God. While it is true that we love God whether the door is open or not, while it is true that we will serve him no matter what happens, Brothers and sisters, it is best to serve God. See, man was never designed to serve God under pain, under penury, under suffering. This is why when you serve God under those conditions, it's called sacrifice. Because you were not designed by default to function that way. Are we together now? So you must believe that God wants you to walk into the victory, the blessings the prosperity the increase and now sometimes we men of god fall victims um, of misleading god's people in a sincere attempt to make people spiritually minded in a sincere attempt to push people to become spiritual and to bring people to a point where our passion for god is above and beyond everything we we seem to trivialize the fact that god is interested in their success are we together now so we have a, a congregation of people who love God, but they are failures in every way. And then eventually, the reality of their fruitlessness begins to choke their Christian experience. And by the grace of God, everything that you will hear will be within the context of the kingdom and within the balance that will make your life holistic. Are we together now? So you will be taught as always that your love for God will be the ultimate. You cannot afford to tie your work with God to money and car and prosperity and marriage and child and whatsoever. No, 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 no. It will make your Christian experience fake. Are we together now? However, it is God's desire for you to have a consolation in your Christian experience. Say amen. amen. I've taught us again and again that materialism is not having materials. There are poor people who are materialistic. Absolutely. Materialism has nothing to do with materials. Materialism is the influence of the flesh. The influence of things around. When they occupy the place of God. Don't be mistaken that when you see somebody come out of a jeep or somebody wears a designer clothes, that person is materialistic. Far from it. In fact, let me tell you sincerely, most wealthy people conquered money to be wealthy in the first place. Are we together now? So God wants your success and my success. Say amen. amen. But Paul began to give us one key to the 
success principles of the spirit and he says finally brethren let me talk about your thought life paul in many scriptures and the psalmist and jesus himself begins to tell us that in our quest to become all that god has destined for us we must pay attention to our minds we must pay attention to our thought life our convictions and the things that we think about have a lot to do with the manifestation of our reality and again and again the word keeps challenging us to order our thoughts aright are we together now so the bible begins to tell us that if you want to succeed in life your thoughts must be cultured they must be governed i've taught us again and again that your life revolves around your most dominant thoughts this is very very true that your life becomes eventually a reflection of your convictions right and and so in in psalm 19 let's look at psalm 19 verse 14 the psalmist puts it in a very interesting way two keys that are responsible for our success in life Two keys that are responsible. Psalm 19 verse 14. I, I believe, yes, it should be. Psalm 19 verse 14. Let's turn there. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 19 verse 14. Let's read it together. One to read. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The psalmist tells us to be successful, there are two things that are very important. Number one is the meditations, the contemplation, the content of your heart. And heart there is interchanged in many places in scripture with mind. Are we together now? The meditations of your heart that lead to the words of your mouth can decide your destiny. This is very, very important. Hallelujah. Now, um, Many people have not been taught that their mentality, their mindsets, their ideologies are largely responsible for the quality of their life. There are people who pray all the time and, and, and now there is a place for, you know, taking charge of spiritual forces that attempt to cause people to fail and so on and so forth. But we must realize that not everything about a man's failure is tied to devils and witches and wizards and so on and so forth. There are many of us who do not have the kind of mental state that will afford the Holy Spirit birth in us the things that will create a glorious destiny. Hallelujah. And so Paul is teaching us that whatsoever things he's giving us spiritual parameters that govern our thought life because i tell you this sincerely there is no man that wins the olympic by mistake there's no such thing as success by mistake it doesn't happen hallelujah so it must be intentional and we must upgrade our mindset you can um make make reference to our teaching on pulling down strongholds right that message will bless you because a man is entirely a summation of his mindset and ideology and i told us how that our ideologies are principally formed from our cultures is that true our cultural background we come from different areas with different ideologies about god about success about marriage about life about victory about failure etc when we come to god we don't come so that he will add to those faulty mindsets. We open up our spirits and we ask him to edit. That anything that is not consistent with the pattern of the Christ must leave. Even if it is culturally correct. Is God speaking to us now? So many of us are victims of culture. We have held on to age-long stumbling blocks that will never afford us the opportunity to taste of kingdom success. We hold on to these things, we cherish them so much and the devil keeps taking advantage of them and destroying our lives. But we must choose to lay them down in the name of Jesus Christ. I told us also that our mindset are formed as a result of our levels of exposure. The reality you do not know exists, you cannot open up your heart to take it. Is that true? And so the word of God exposes us to the possibilities that exist. 
so that by faith we can open up ourselves and tap into those possibilities our mindsets are also framed from our past and for many of us our past are not good experiences but we have allowed it to become part of the walls in our minds that make us feel we are failures there are many of us seated here who believe that we really cannot do much and so that limitation that has come from our repeated failures of the past creates stumbling blocks and stop us from becoming all that god has destined take seriously what i'm sharing with you because your life is at the mercy of these truths hallelujah are we together let the words of my mouth let the contemplations and the meditations of my heart be such that it is acceptable unto you let it be such that is consistent with your ways if you must live in the kingdom you must subscribe to god's way of doing things see the word of god is not an opinion a believer is not just one who believes the word of god a believer is one who submits to the word of god you submit to it ultimately regardless of what you feel about it are we together now if i can change your mindset then you can prosper i guarantee you i don't care what the limitation is right now but if you refuse to allow your mindset to be changed then there is nothing that can be done to you a man's limitation is primarily his mindset everyone see after me in the name of jesus i receive grace from god for a change of mindset a change of ideology hallelujah this was the limitation of abraham for a long time god wanted to do great things through his life but his limitation became a stumbling block and one time god called him out and said abraham i want to expand your mind attempt to count the stars and he kept trying and failing and you know he gave up and god said this is how your seed will be finally abraham believed god and the bible says it was counted unto him for righteousness hallelujah it's very very important for us to understand um your thought life listen your thought life is a mechanism for creating things in your physical environment your mind is like a machine it's a spiritual component that is locked up in you that is responsible for creation i need you to understand this this is the principle of creation many people have been taught that creation is just about speaking no it's not about speaking alone there are two components that must coexist for creation to happen listen every time you speak what is not consistent with your mind every time you speak what is not consistent with that which is locked up in your spirit you just wasted your time believe me even for salvation the bible says with the heart man believes and on the strength of that conviction with the mouth confession is made and it will lead to salvation are we together now so in that same way the first key to succeeding is your conviction within that internal work that coming to a point where your thought life is completely governed by the word of god we call that state having the mind of christ the mind of christ is not just a mind that is spiritual the mind of christ is the mind that has been adjusted to think entirely from god's perspective so your viewpoint is consistent with the word of god hallelujah we have not been taught the consequences of thinking evil we have not been taught the consequences of having a faulty mindset listen your mind and your thought life will eventually create what you are thinking believe me on this when i tell you believe me eventually and so satan destroys our lives not just by bringing physical tragedies but because for many of us our minds have not been fortified by the word of god we have not embraced the spirit of god enough to produce that kind of alignment and adjustment we allow all kinds of thoughts that's why the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not what carnal in other words this battle is not in the flesh realm it says but they are mighty through god to the pulling down of 
strongholds then he says casting down every imagination comes from the word yetzah creative thoughts that are planted by satan because if it is in your mind and it becomes an obsession it must manifest it is not if it is when listen whatever stays in your mind long enough i guarantee you no power in existence will stop it from manifesting Genesis 11. Genesis 11. Oh, I believe in you. I believe in you. Hallelujah. I believe in you. Let's read. This was a strange man called Nimrod Kush. Hallelujah. That the Bible says they, are, they were attempting to build a city. Look at, please, whether it is spiritual or physical is audacious. Let's just, let's, let's take it from there. Are we, uh, there are all kinds of schools of thought, whether it was physical or spiritual. That's not really the most important thing. The fact that it was a conception in the heart of man to build a tower. Listen to how men think. Goto, come, let us build a city and a tower whose top will reach the heavens and let us by it make a name for ourselves according to them they did not see any impossibility not impossibility of raw materials not impossibility of workforce not impossibility of anything let's see what happened verse 4 verse 4 and they said come let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make a name lest we be scattered abroad from the face of the whole earth. Are you ready? Now watch this. This was Nimrod proposing the idea. Are we together? He was proposing the idea because he knew that if the people begin to think, if they can get to a point where that mental picture is in them, the same way is in him, nothing will stop them. Verse 5. It says, And the Lord came down to see the tower which the children of men did what? Look at it. Not the tower that they are building. In God's mind, they have finished it. Look at this. Is that in your Bible? <laughs> Nimrod says, look guys, come together. Let us build a city. We want something to manifest physically. But we know that this is, everything is truly possible. So I want to do something to your mindset. Do you guys believe we are able? And they said yes. And God was watching. The moment they agreed, God said the house was finished. He came down to see what they had built. Can you imagine that? That a man had come to a point of persuasion where his thought life has agreed with the word of God right and then the bible tells us that it will be manifested listen listen do you know that god had to scatter them for that plan to fail god did not sit in heaven and say look don't worry these guys are just silly people he literally had to bring confusion to their languages so that they no longer would reason with one another every business empire you see today every successful ministry every impactful believer who has been mightily used by god listen when god comes to you when he calls you the second assignment is not to use you when he calls you listen he equips you and part of that equipment is he has to make you get to a point where your mind resonates with his own and then he can send you anywhere when he called moses he said, Moses, I'm sending you to Pharaoh. And Moses said, huh, I, I know Ramesses. Who do I tell them I sent me? And he said, you are calling for a revelation. I am that I am. I want to show you a bit of the possibilities that are in me. And when he showed Moses, he said, on the strength of this mental picture, go. Your life is at the mercy of your thought. First and foremost. Your mind 
your thought life. This is the spiritual gateway for birthing ideas. This is the spiritual gateway for birthing creativity. This is the spiritual gateway for manifestation. This happens with the anointing and every other thing. Listen, if you ever will raise a dead, you must have conviction enough to stand before one. Are we together now? When a man walks to a sick body and looks at the sick body, you are seeing that this guy has cancer. Are we together? They are showing you a medical report. Terminal case of cancer. Yet you have the gods to overlook that report. Because there is a higher reality. Your mind has been programmed to see something higher and better. Are we together now? You pray for someone on a wheelchair. Your physical eyes is seeing limbs that are not... I mean, these limbs, even if he's well, he can't stand because he's just skin bones. And you have the audacity to hold his hands and say, stand up. Listen. Sit down, sir. Thank you. Your life is a reflection of the excellency of your mindset. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. The Bible never said all things are possible for everybody. It says to him that believes. Your first assignment is not to look for money to prosper. Believe me. Your first assignment is not to look for a job or a business idea. Please believe me on this. Your first assignment is not to run around looking for helpers. Your first assignment is to stay and rise to a point where your mindset, where you are obsessed with the possibilities, where the word of God literally is like your mirror. The same way when you look at a mirror, you see yourself. Are we together now? The Bible says as we behold him, we are changed. There is a transition. There is a transition. The workers, listen, none of you signed any form that you will come for Koinonia this evening. Did you sign any form? But the workers came as early as maybe six, seven, eight, and they started dressing everything. The worship team was preparing. You know why? Because something has happened to them. There is an understanding. They know that God will draw his people to himself and bless them. Imagine if they sat down and said, let's watch. If we see people come, are we together now? I mean, who told the people that there will be an overflow outside? Don't say it's because it has been happening. There was a first day. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. The oil was at the mercy of the vessel. The oil was not small. The vessel was small. So the, oil, the vessel made the oil look small. Are we together? The prophet said, go and enlarge your capacity. Borrow vessels. He said, borrow not a few. Enlarge your capacity. The moment there were vessels, the oil started multiplying. I learned this early in life. I've studied Jesus Christ and I've studied very successful people. Every successful person in life, every person that has been used mightily by God, first and foremost got to a point where they were convicted that the ability of the Spirit can work in and through them. Are we together now? Everyone, every single one of them. It took them time, but they stayed until they got to a point where their construction was unwavering. So you hear Job speaking things like, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He says, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. In other words, he knew his change would come. When David was in the cave of Adullam, he knew that inevitably he was meant for the palace. Listen, listen. The devil stands helpless in the face of a man who has made the word of God his mentality. At that point, Satan becomes powerless, truly in your life, because you are no longer governed by the circumstances and the things that your optical eye sees. Your convictions are higher than your physical perceptions. 
So you know that God is able. Now the question is, Satan has surrounded, or the issue is, Satan has surrounded our lives. Listen, he has surrounded our lives with things that compel us to think in a certain way. This is what cosmos is all about. Babylon, the, this godless system. Satan has created structures around our environment. They are called mind control systems. From the movies, are we together now? To the way people behave, right? To spiritual forces that influence men. All of them are aimed at bringing people to think in a certain way. So by the time a lady watches a movie and she finds out that evil is celebrated, in that movie, a lady steals a man's money and they clap for her as being brave. So the devil gives your mind a new definition of what great means. That whenever you are able to oppress another successfully, you are great. And so you receive it. Are we together now? And then eventually, from morning till night, we walk out in the morning and return to our homes with all kinds of ideologies that are not consistent with the word of God. And what we keep seeing in our lives is a physical manifestation of things we did not bargain for. But you thought about them long enough. That thought life became so powerful that it necessarily made us to start speaking it. Listen, there is a difference between speaking just because you want to talk and you are responding to the overflow of the content in your mind. The Bible says every time your mind is full, you must speak. It's not about whether you want or not. Uh -uh. It said, be ye filled with the spirit. Immediately, say you will start speaking. So the moment your mind is full, your mouth will start speaking. Is God helping us? And so we begin to speak. And while we are speaking, we do not know that we are creating. Every time there is a union between your thought life and your words, there must be creation. So we call ourselves names that we have thought about for so long and we have verbalized. And then our lives inevitably become it. Job said this. He said, the things that are feared most have come upon me. He feared many things, but the one he feared most became his reality. Are we together? There were many things he was afraid of, but the most dominant fear became his reality. So if you want to reign in life, you must realize that part of your assignment with the Holy Spirit and the Word of God is to come to a point where you think like Christ. I love Jesus. They brought five loaves and two fish. Say, ah, how are we going to feed these people? Jesus said, no, 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 no. Be silent. Don't corrupt my mindset. I know all things are possible. I'm El Shaddai. That you cannot see it does not mean it's, it's not there. And he told them, no. He lifted it and he gave thanks. And he told the people, he said, go and start sharing it. Sir, what about the embarrassment? Go and start sharing it. And the Bible says, as they were going. See that. This is why you find out that certain things happen to people in certain ways. Your father kept calling you stupid from birth. At 11 years, you were behaving helplessly stupid. Now, he thought he was venting anger. He did not know he was creating. Are we together now? They started calling the lady prostitute. You don't stay in your home. You go to somebody's home. And at age 13, 14, she looks back and sees that ah, she's beginning to have a lustful desire for men. Because every time your mind, I'm not just talking of hallucination. When your mind holds on to it like a conviction and your word speaks, it's like a woman and a man meeting together. There must be creation. I never confess things I don't believe because I'm wasting my time. Are we together? I pray that you will find, you will see light in what I'm sharing with you. When you see this, you will know 
that there is nothing coincidence about a man's destiny every man receives the fruit of what he created or allowed others to create for him hallelujah and so every time your physical life is manifesting things that are not consistent with what the word of god says the key is not to complain the key is to take your eyes away the bible says looking on to jesus not looking on to your circumstances. Not looking on to your situations. Looking on to Jesus. He calls him the author and the finisher of our faith. Right from the time we were 10, 20 in this ministry. I already saw a crowd. I preached that way. I behaved that way. My convictions have never increased or decreased with people. Because what is in me is stronger than what I see. What you are seeing today is what I spoke yesterday. Tomorrow will tell you what I'm speaking now. Are you getting what I'm saying now? No, 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 no. What you are seeing today is not my mindset of today. <laughs> the physical realm always delays. The realm of the spirit is faster. I've gone ahead of this realm. Because there is the power of creation. You can change any situation in your life it may take a while but as far as the heaven is above the earth you can change it the first thing is not just to shout and say god forbid god forbid is not a confession it's just an attempt to be human are we together now there are so many people who make all kinds of statements without the conviction to support it and so there are only statements no creation I will never fail me god forbid i won't fail yet you, you are seeing it right before you because you see what you are saying and what you are thinking are not the same so there is no creation are we together now there are many pastors who keep speaking and saying in the name of Jesus, I have this and that and that, but the truth is their convictions are not true. After the church service, when they now sit down in a non-church platform, they start saying the things they really believe. It's like, oh boy, man, the truth is, Kai, it's not easy. Oh. To be a man is not a day's job, truly, truly. That's what they believe. You see that? That's their conviction. It's easy for us to use all kinds of spiritual words on stage thee and thou and you know god is faithful everybody say god is faithful but the truth is whatever is the pivot of your thinking is what will be your expression even when you are alone ah uh, when i'm alone i say the same thing i look at myself and i prophesy and i speak this is not just positive thinking this is kingdom living are, are we together now it's, it's not just positive thinking brothers and sisters creation did not stop on the seventh day god only rested creation is still on that's what makes us god co-creators but we have lost the art of understanding god's technology of creation it's not just speaking it's speaking on the strength of a conviction that's what produces creation hallelujah what is the sum total of your ideology while you are seated here many of us believe all kinds of lies that the devil has put in us and paul is saying finally he says i've i've discussed other issues with you but i cannot end this episode this way finally whatsoever things are true don't think lies what is a lie anything the word of god did not endorse anything at all so your situation currently is a lie as far as the word of god says <clears throat> See, see, the Bible puts it this way. I love the Bible. It inspires me. It says, listen, it says for our light affliction. Imagine the hell you are going through and the Bible calls it light. For our light affliction. <laughs> then it says, which is but for a moment. It costs 10 years a moment. Now it's up to you to choose to believe what the word has said. For our light affliction, which is bought for a moment, it says it walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. Then it says this, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are 
unseen how do you see what is unseen he never said the things that are unreal it only said they are unseen that tells you all you see is not all there is brothers and sisters there are microorganisms in this room you cannot see them but you keep something keep kunu leave it open for four days and see what it will turn into it reveals to you that there are microorganisms there are bacteria all around to be carnally minded is to be governed entirely by your vision your your physical vision and the devil knows that we are people who walk sensually and so he has taken advantage of our senses to corrupt the reality of this principle you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise. You get the praise. You take the honor. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. God cannot do much with you if your mind does not authorize him to create realities in your life. God wants to find expression in your world. He wants to do a lot of great and mighty things. But he's dependent on your mindset it's not just speaking you speak on the strength of conviction the world our parents our environment right the mindset in nigeria has made us to think in a certain way to an extent that when you fail right when things are not working in your life rather than staying with god and staying through until there is a manifestation you look for somebody who has failed more than you and you justify it you see an ideology it's supposed to be a solidarity a comfort but it has destroyed us so someone comes with a membership of 20 people and then god shows you that i can do more with you and you say am, am i not better than this guy at least I'm, I'm 20 he's four and by that we guarantee our mediocrity and we remain there never to rise never to rise let me tell you how i think i lock up myself in a room or wherever there is and i pray in tongues i soak myself with worship and i take a journey through the word of god because i don't trust anything else believe me any other thing outside the word of god is a lie now it's difficult to convince you because for us a lie is anything you cannot see you cannot touch or anything that is not true based on a reference jesus said i am the way i am reality not just an information that is correct truth is not what is correct truth is what has life in it anything that does not have the life of god in it is not truth that's why it may be a physical reality that you have a lump a breast lump or a growth on your legs but the word of god tells you listen 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 the word of god tells you that that is an affliction that can leave it opens you up to the possibility that it can leave it's up to you to now dwell on this physical reality and die with it listen when remember in, in the bible remember in the bible that's why your eye your eye is very important in your dominion what you see physically and spiritually remember brothers and sisters the bible teaches us that there was a time listen 
there was a time when the nation of Israel were dying and all of that and all of that serpents and so on and so forth and he told Moses to make a serpent and put it up remember and he said if you can just look at it you will be free it matters what you see it matters what you look at you cannot sit down watching all kinds of devilish movies watching all kinds of things exposing yourself to environments that feed your mind wrongly and then you want your life to conform to the word of god it will not happen that way so i surround myself i soak myself with this atmosphere of worship and then i begin to take a journey through the word of god i read the book of joshua and i see what god told me that no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life and like a camera that's it you see that you see what this camera is doing that's what your mind does to everything your mind snaps everything it's up to you to delete every junk in your mind by the word of god your mind is like a camera listen if you check this right now you will see what was captured how many of you look at me how many of you have posed well for a picture you thought you posed well but when you checked what it captured your eyes were closed you would have argued that you didn't close your eyes but at the point of capture that's it that's how our minds are you think you are getting it right but your your reality is telling you something is wrong up there if we are to look at these pictures right now you may think you were standing very cute but you find out that you were even like this sleeping but you can never remember when you did that the camera can remember you see that so you begin to see repeated woes in your life and say when did i do this i go to church every day i pray and your mind says well as far as i'm concerned every time you spoke you spoke things that were not consistent with your mind and the few times you spoke what was consistent with your mind there was creation this is the child Oh, we are failures. It's not for us. This and that and that and that. It's not for people like us. And listen, the, the most, the most, the, the saddest part of this is people who are negative about life. Have you seen people like that? Let me advise you, run away from them quickly. Even if you grew up together, it's time to break away from them. There are people who stand close to you in five minutes. They are saying something negative. It's a devilish attitude. Believe me, if that thing is at work in your life, you need a retreat. Use the weekend. Retreat. Sam, come. Um, is it that, is it that in, in Koinonia, people are allowed to just sleep like that while a message is going on? You see what he's thinking. Are we together now? And then you move around and you are looking at... Uh, I'm seeing most Pastor Shegu and his wife do uncle. What are they trying to tell us? <laughs> are we together? And then you saw that cake now. You see, they, their minds are negative. They always look for what is not working well. That's why their lives fail. So they try to attract people to themselves who are like them. He said, look, you may be a sincere person, but it must change. There are people like that. They never are optimistic about life. Good morning. What is good about the morning? That's why the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. It didn't say the Lord and Satan. This is the day the Lord made. Like you cook food for somebody. This is the day that the Lord made. He said, let us rejoice. And be glad not complain and be angry listen this is the revelation I have so I come out in the morning and somebody insults me and I remember this is the day the Lord has made my assignment for me to receive what he has made is until I rejoice and I am glad listen listen this looks little but I'm teaching you something the Bible is saying in the realm of the spirit the day has been made because he says he daily loads us with benefit it has not manifested yet there is a condition your condition is rejoice and be glad rejoice and be glad because god made the day satan also made the day there is how you receive what he has made so every time you wake up 
there are two days in one you choose the day you want to see so i get up in the morning thinking i'm awake somebody will be saved because of my life today someone will be filled with the holy spirit because of my life today koinonia is rising higher and somebody calls you and say do you know that I'm, I've not eaten anything. And I said, don't worry. Our light afflictions, which is but for a moment. This is, I'm showing you how I'm thinking. Listen, I'm not just saying this because I'm, I'm acting here. It has become my construction. It's impossible to entertain any negative thought without a scripture rising as a standard. If I lack explanation for the situation like Job, I will say God is greater. God is greater. Lord, I count you faithful. The reason why your day is always a tragedy is because there is no rejoicing. Satan knows that. And so from, it's, it's from your bedmate. Right? Immediately you wake up, you just look and say, why are you looking ugly like this? Say, please don't try me. I'm, 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 I'm angry this morning. I had a, a, a dream that it's not supposed to be. The moment you step down, you find out that there's no light for you to bath. You see, there are orchestrations in your life, but the Bible says rejoice and be glad. It didn't say rejoice because good things are happening. Rejoice as a rule. Rejoice as a key. Are we together now? How many of you wake up and rejoice? In spite of the fact that immediately you rejoice, somebody just sent you a text. And say i've been tolerating you for a long time i just want you to know that i had what you said about me well like if i did this and that and you read the text listen listen it's up to you to allow that thing in your mind and start speaking and you find out that for one hour you are thinking and resentment is becoming your most dominant thought and you verbalize it oh god punish somebody for me See, the Bible says, do not say before an angel, I made a mistake. Because they execute the words of the saints. Are we together? I never allowed, see, you can't be great thinking the way people are thinking. Somebody comes and tells you certain things and say, God bless you. I rejoice in the Lord. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. He emphasizes it. He never said rejoice because you are happy. You went to the board and you saw what looked like, um, it didn't look like your destiny and you, you, you just laugh. Not just that you move around and then you stand and say, anybody that tries me will die in this place. They know. Creation is happening every day, every time. Unfortunately, most of what we are creating in our lives are tragedies and setbacks. Another aspect to this is anything you do not celebrate in another person, you are not authorized to have it in your life. Oh, this is a key in the spirit. For as long as I keep talking about Sam, forget about stepping into the worship anointing. I will never. For as long as I trivialize Mike's grace. You see that? Many of us do not have this attitude of genuinely celebrating people. See, see, from this night I'm giving you an assignment. Remove the negativism out of your atmosphere and you'll be amazed to see what will begin to happen in your life. One of the happiest person I've seen in my life is a gentleman called Alex. Not many of you know him. Alex is a very interesting personality. He used to play bass guitar for me before he traveled abroad to study. The only time I saw Alex sick, he said he had malaria. I couldn't believe it because he was laughing. I said, Alex, malaria. No, you are, you are kidding. I've never seen him angry. Believe me, those who know him will tell you. He used to cook. He uses hot pot. He will cook and because I don't eat much, he will just fetch more. I said, Pastor Josh, this is your own. He will just push it and sit down with the pot and eat it. Always laughing. I mean, there was a time we lost one of our sisters years ago and he stood, everybody was being remorseful. He was trying to be remorseful. 
and I laughed. I said, this is not you. You are a joyful person. Those kind of people hardly fall sick, if at all. They are very happy. They don't see no masquerade chasing them in any dream. Because they are happy. They are happy. The praise of God is in their mouth. They are always optimistic. Are, are we together now? Always optimistic. Listen, walk with people like that. They are always optimistic. Every time they see challenges, tell them, don't worry. There's a better day. These are the kinds of people to walk with. Not those who say, let's sit down here. I told you. Next time when I talk, you will listen to me. No, no, don't walk with those kinds of people. There are pastors I will never walk with. They are negative. They are cynical. They are always complaining. Why is ministry not working? Ministry is working. Are we together? Never, I will never become a party to those kinds of things. No. God is faithful. The Bible says the path of the just and the just, it shines brighter and brighter. And as a pastor, you have to be careful. Don't carry your bad day and come and land it on your congregation. There are congregations that study the, the pastor. The moment they see the man like this, they know they are in for it. Because now he comes up and see those who are pastors laughing. You may not understand. Sometimes you can really be angry. And those who have annoyed you are there seated. And after singing the praise and worship, you are now looking. And then you say, stand up. And they, they pretend as if they didn't hear it. Did, did I not say, stand? I will curse you now. In this church, you people don't give, you don't honor your leaders. People are suffering. Maybe the guy is broke. Things are not working. He has come on stage. The members are not cooperating. You are not sowing. No prophet's offering. No love offering. No seed of honor. The man is frustrated. His wife is telling him, look, let's leave this job. Go and leave this ministry. Go and look for a job. And he carries that anger. And then everybody's in trouble. The drama is in trouble. The keyboardist is in trouble. Usually it's the worship team that gets to receive the, the lash. You, you know that, right? Let's appreciate the worship team. You don't know what they go through. Really? Then immediately you finish all kinds of... I choose to be positive. It's a choice. I choose to be true. I refuse to meditate on negative things. My life is a blessing. Listen, we're going to pray. I, I just showed us this principle. I will never think on things that are not true. I will never think on things that are not pure. I will never think on things that are not noble. I will, I, no man will preach me into this. No. There's no amount of message. I will not declare my loyalty to anybody who is negative. No. I love you, but carry your trouble and go away with it. I see life only in one direction. Only one direction. The way the word of God says it should be. And no matter what is in my obstacle now, what is in me is bigger than it. It's a matter of time. My physical reality will always, inevitably, oh, that you will believe this. And you will know that that one shoe you have is not all that there is and you stop feeling negative you will celebrate that moment because you are waving it goodbye forever are we together now pressure is a product of a poor perception this is the reason why many people are under pressure you are trying to buy a suit of hundred thousand or two hundred thousand now because you are trying to show you are successful listen 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 if you can agree with god up here Satan is no longer a factor. The only way Satan stops your harvest is to stop your seed time. Once it is sown, it becomes automatic. And the word of God is that seed. You ask the leaders, every time we're having leaders meeting, we don't have time for any sorrowing and mourning. When our sister transited to be with the Lord, we had our time of, uh, you know, just talking, but I challenged them at once. I said, no griefing. Remember my message that night. Why would you preach such a message when people have had certain things? Because her transition is not a tragedy. We know exactly where she is, and whatever it is that the devil orchestrated, we're happy that she's rejoicing. Paul said, for, for me, to live is Christ. He says, to die. 
he uses a business language gain gain i refuse to be negative there is nothing any man will do to me listen that will make me sit down i'm just negative and say oh god some of you say, oh god take my life you will soon die no 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 it's not a negative prophecy it's a warning it's a caution we do it oh god no marriage no job nobody toasting me listen listen there is an atmosphere around you that is making that happen you won't agree but i'm telling you this there is an atmosphere i've seen ladies please um don't 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 uh, don't think that i'm using this against any lady i've seen certain ladies that may not even consider themselves to be as good looking and you see the kind of brothers coming because they are optimistic they know i will marry they talk about their children with confidence and you who stand say children care where is the man and then you find out that they sit down and true to it in your presence five people are calling and say agree for me now i'm ready to marry you and you are there with your negative atmosphere human beings have prophetic atmospheres they can repel or bring things to your life right so a guy wants to say hello to you they say turn around and and and, and turn around and say hello to your 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 neighbor and a, a guy walks to you and you carry your anger and bitterness that guy came for koinonia just like you how are you sweetheart sweetheart you don't stop there oh. This person that is talking is maybe he's even getting married soon. You now carry your anger. You create. This is why many people don't have friends. Two weeks and the friends are tired of them. Because there is an atmosphere that drives every good thing out of your life. A negative atmosphere. An atmosphere that is, is, is from a wrong mindset. He said, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable you will never hear me say anything negative about koinonia i'm the number one fan of this ministry i only see what god is doing and i celebrate it you will not see me sit down and be talking about another man of god and i'm telling you pastor alpha did you know that we saw blue flower in his church instead of yellow no never never you must become very kingdom minded and positive i guarantee you if you speak on the strength of that conviction things will change in your life i expect people to bless me every day i'm surprised if they don't bless me i expect it it's not pride it's the truth even this night there are people no 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 i this is my mind you you don't expect anything you are even surprised when it comes you say for me are you sure i'm the one not to give why can't you listen 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 what makes you think you do not deserve it say i deserve the blessings of god shout it i deserve the blessings of god say one more time i deserve the blessings of god i'm not teaching you carnality i'm teaching you how to walk in victory many people always believe is is the chaff that belongs to them if you've been evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more brothers and sisters with your heavenly father gain how much more every time you talk to people there are some of you you talk about people and say what's the latest what's the latest mean what is wrong in the person's life now after six months of not meeting the person are we together now what's the latest oh she has a shop so what's the latest Today, it looks like nobody is even coming say i said it i said it I choose to believe the word. I choose to allow it become the construction of my mindset. Jesus said this, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he also do, and greater works. Brothers and sisters, I believe this. I don't know who is not working for, and I really feel bad for them, but as far as I'm concerned, this thing is going to work for me. There will always be people coming for koinonia. Lives will keep being changed. We will keep rising from glory to glory. When people say there is a casting down, for us here there is a lifting up. It's by the hand of God. The anointing of the spirit will never run dry in this house. At every point there is increase. 
The word of God will never be scarce. It will never lose its place. Every time you come for koinonia, you will keep being blessed. That name will keep rising. This is my mindset. This is what I believe. This is how I live. In the open and in the secret, in my sleep, this is what I believe. I believe that favor follows me like a shadow. Everywhere I go, even people who do not want me, there is something upon me that compels them to bless me. I expect it when it happens. I say, that's right. Consistent. I'm not going to betray my destiny with a negative confession. I will not. I will not. I will not. Jesus is glorified consistently in my life. Everywhere I go to minister, they receive the touch of God. I am a blessing. I'm not a liability to any man. I'm not a cost to any man. I choose to believe I am a blessing. Because he said, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Are we together? This, are the, this is, is part of the secrets that has preserved and multiplied the anointing of the spirit upon my life. Don't you think it's just prayer and fasting alone? There is an understanding that keeps the anointing comfortable in me. Nothing in me will choke the anointing out of me because I have learned to create the atmosphere. I have an unction from the and I know. That's why you will keep coming. You will drag yourself from your room by an agency you cannot explain. It's called Anakazo. It's at work. It's the compelling power of the spirit supported by a healthy mindset. I will never be a failure in life. Me and poverty are signed up forever. I waved it goodbye, it waved me back. There's no possibility of meeting again. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing, glory to your name. Son of man, what seest thou? He said, son of man, what seest thou? He said, as far as your eyes can see, to you I will give as an inheritance. He said, Abraham, from where thou art, it's okay that you are where you are, but from where you are, he said, lift up your eyes. From where you are, lift up your eyes and see. Northwards, southward, eastward, westward. He said, as far as your eyes can see. Brothers and sisters, I see far. I see far. Are you seeing your today or you are already seeing what God has designed? Listen, if you see it, brothers and sisters, you can carry your 250 naira trouser and move happily because what people are seeing is a mirage they will soon see what is true the bible says the things that are on the scene are temporal temporal i see a ministry with prosperity and abundance i see a ministry touching people all over the globe i see a ministry winning souls and saving lives I see a ministry blessing people like, an, like a tree, like an edifice. That's what I see. That's what I see. I see a family of peace. I don't see myself being a wicked father. I don't see myself being an irresponsible father. I choose to be a good man. I, are we together now? It's a choice. This is what I see. I see Koinonia having the best workforce any ministry can have. That's why I celebrate them. That's why I honor them. You will never turn and see me embarrass the people I'm embarrassing myself. I love them and they know it. I'm not embarrassed about my love for them. Because they are gifted people. And I've created the atmosphere for them to be motivated by love and revelation. Not force. Is God speaking to us? You've got to culture your atmosphere. Sister, your, the next level of your life is at the mercy of your mindset. You've got to change it tonight. And say, look, the Bible says male and female, he created them. There is somebody who loves me. I may not see the person, but there's somebody who appreciates me. 
forget about the one who came and looked at you and said you think you are fine let him carry his trouble and go but you know what you are looking at i am a mother who will birth prophets and apostles and preachers this is the mindset are we together now you look at your academics and it looks like it's nose diving and you say i know my redeemer liveth and people say let's be real be real you say this is my reality i reject that thing you are trying to tell me my reality is what the word of god says and i choose to believe it 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 ah let the redeemed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so let the prosperous of the lord say so let the great of the lord say so i choose to say it because i believe it it says the the righteousness of faith speaks in this wise on on the strength of conviction you must speak so we are not just praying blindly oh i know my life is blessed and you just turn and say oh boy we really well let's just continue my life no 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 that's not conviction that's not conviction see in my little work i don't boast of being a general in the knowledge of god but i know something about him he is faithful this attribute of god i can tell you experientially god is faithful god is faithful i've seen his faithfulness that's why i take out time to celebrate him those who put their trust in him never go disappointed I guarantee you if you were disappointed you did not put your trust in him if you really put your trust in him you will watch your way maker step into what looks like there's no way and begin to create ways for you the night time will look like morning will never come but when he arises like a mighty man that he is you will see him move my own is to keep agreeing with him lord i agree with you i may not see where i'm going but i know that with you is a glorious destiny while you are saying it they, they laugh at you no problem they should keep laughing because when it happens they will say he said it i will never be ashamed of speaking the word of god many of us are embarrassed about it so you believe it but you keep quiet you say lord i thank you because you are changing my story and and you now look and they, they laugh at you and they say mr man look let me tell you if i am god i will hear your prayer you that you are praying see when they tell you that kind of thing you feel bad ah i shout it to the mountain top we are going from glory to glory from grace to grace in the name of the lord jesus christ that's what the bible says and that's what i believe that's what i believe let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus the word led there is permit this is a very simple message tonight that is an attempt to challenge us to know that our thought life has a lot to do with our destinies when you come to my place you don't see anything that reminds you of the devil and failure nothing nothing everything reminds me of heaven and greatness i have a little board where i wrote three scriptures one about the anointing one about favor the other one about about increase or greatness and i love it some of us are negative we must change negativism will make you birth things you do not want please believe me pastors our minds must be stayed on what the word of god has said there may not be money in the account of the ministry there may not be this and that but i choose to believe i'm not just confessing blindly but you choose to believe my god is faithful my god is alive hallelujah we are going to pray and when it's time to pray i want us to believe it as you pray you pray away these negative things that we have allowed the devil to put in our minds the bible says, casting down every year there are imaginations that have exalted themselves above the knowledge of the christ you went home this morning and there was no magi to cook food you went home and there was nothing there was just pepper and you look at it and say this is a mirage my God is faithful. What about the welfare I'll be sending to foundations tomorrow? I see myself doing it. Papa Oyedeko, way before he had the money to buy any designer, shouted, he said, yeah, I can never be poor. He saw something. 
he saw something to an extent that he was in america and he said god sent him down to come and make the people rich with no evidence on your own part brothers and sisters i believe him i judge him faithful he has been tested through different dispensations and he has been found faithful my life is too small to judge the faithfulness of god from glory to glory you are taking me from glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory you are taking me prophesied glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory you are taking me from glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory you are taking me why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for our light affliction which is but for a moment that financial scarcity is for a moment brothers and sisters that sickness is for a moment that limitation is for a moment he said though weeping endures for a night he says joy 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 comes with the morning you are not the first to see carryover on the board if you wore a matriculation gown you will wear a convocation gown Oh, come on now. There is nothing happening to you that is new. That's why I said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. That's where you will hear testimonies that are worse than yours and how God delivered people out of it. You are not the first to not have food to eat. I shared this thing humorously. I'll never forget one, one time in my life, I was so broke, things were so bad, I bought bread. Well, for, for some people, that's prosperity now. I bought bread and then with granite and just choked the thing inside and I was just eating and rejoicing. I'll never forget locking myself and dancing. I was dancing because I saw people blessing my life. I said, the anointing in my life is an endangered species. It's impossible for me to be ignored. It's only a matter of time. When I said that, there was no hope of anybody bringing any seed to Naira to say, take he is taking you sister you will rise like an edifice i'm telling you it's from glory to glory you are taking me personalize it as we prepare to pray glory to glory to glory from glory to glory you are taking me from glory to glory to glory to glory from glory to glory you are taking me shout it after me say in the name of jesus all i see around me is the goodness of god is the mercy of god is the favor of God is the faithfulness of God all I see around me is increase glory beauty favor I reject every thought that is not consistent with the Word of God I am a blessing lift your voice and begin to prophesy Lift your voice and prophesy. We cast down by the blood of the eternal covenant every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of the Christ. We cast it down. We cast down thoughts of failure. We cast down thoughts of limitation. We cast down thoughts of inferiority. Makata 
oh hallelujah we are well favored the blessed of the lord moving from glory to glory we think only on things that are pure things that are true things that are noble things that have virtues and praise i refuse to see challenges i see the faithfulness of god i see the mercy of my god increase on every side on on every side favor on every side make sure you are praying inside and outside hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit i tear down every negative thinking every negative mindset every thinking on failure every thinking on mediocrity everything that makes me look like a nobody i tear it down in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray oh i challenge it challenge cultural mindset challenge the speakings of men over your life and destiny for as a man thinketh, so he is. For as a man thinketh, so he is. Out of the abundance of your heart, of your mind, of your spirit, your mouth makes proclamations. I reject failure. I reject failure. I reject limitation. I reject failure. I reject limitation. I reject failure. I reject limitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Listen. He said, We having the spirit of faith, as it is written, I believe and therefore I speak. He said, We also, like faithful Abraham, we believe and we prove that we believe by speaking. Are we together? Everything you know the word of God has said for you, you are going to speak it. You are not just speaking, you are creating. Are you ready now? Lift your voice and prophesy. Oh, I'm the head and not the tail. Come on, create realities. Above and not beneath. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all no man is able to stand against me all the days of my life my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day i am like a well watered garden the smell of my life is like the field that the lord has blessed increase on every side favor on every side glad tidings on every side prophesy prophesy i declare in the name of jesus i'm rising from one level of glory to another gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising where i've been deserted so that no man will go through me I become an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. I'm like a well-watered garden. I am planted in the house of God and I flourish in the courts of my God. In old age, I am fat and flourishing. I'm like a tree that is planted by the riverside that yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither. Everything I do prospers 
everything I do prospers. There is an unction upon my life that makes things to work. Everything I do prospers. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the it is a how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? He said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. Your, the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing. It is never faith that moves God. No. Your faith connects you to the power of God. Tonight I came with an anointing. There is enough grace. There is enough anointing. I tell you this. There is enough anointing if you will believe. There is enough anointing. Your situation is not the first. Your situation is, the, is not the first. Your family situation is not the greatest. There is nothing new under the sun. God's ability is God's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me it's God's ability. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. God's ability. solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's God answering your prayer I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing Your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment God is a prayer answering God he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power 
through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe the Lord is that going to do a very quick walk tonight. The blessings there are. I'm hearing people are crying in the spirit. Well. And the Holy Ghost that is telling me these are those who have been delayed. In the midst of your heart. Delayed by the power of darkness. I'm about to your release the anointing upon people experiencing delay. Bring them out. I stretch my hands. Delay. Come on that judgment. Come on that judgment. Delay. Delay. I stretch my hands, all the overflows online, anyone here, any family, under the spirit of delay, bring them out, Sakoto Shabariata, I decree and I declare, I decree and I declare, the fire of God, breaking the chains of delay, breaking the chains of delay, breaking the chains of delay, Breaking the chains of delay. Breaking the chains of delay. Bring them out. Wani Kamar the Kai. Papu. Wani Kamar the Kai. Delay over. Over forever. The 
There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Breaking now. Breaking now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketoko Sotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three. Please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building. Just look at me on the screen. Because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three. And I want to pray for you. Overflow three right now in the name of Jesus. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number 24. 24 people right at overflow three. The Lord is breaking delay. Breaking delay from them. Breaking delay right now. Breaking delay. Hallelujah. There are still people. Listen, I want you to believe in what God is doing. I want you to have a testimony. Without an encounter with his power, it will just be a religious service, I promise you. And you will go back. It is the power of God. The power of God is what draws the line. hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family jesus Help this woman. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast tonight. There are many things to do. I want you to be sensitive. The Lord is showing me a vision now. And I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave. And I'm seeing an angel of the Lord pull it out. And the Lord is saying, this was done against the family. Lord, where is that family? Right now, I stretch my hands. Whoever programmed the earth to fight any family. Tonight is a night of resurrection. So get those cariatata Paroto Soto Gosh, Eleketo Cassete Cotos, Priacatas Cotariata Gosia, Eketos Coliadada. I decree and declare, let it come out now. Let it come out. The breakthrough of that family, the healing of that family, the miracle of that family. I release it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven stones. And the Lord is saying these are tight destinies. This is the whole destiny of a family. Seven of them. 
but may the sword of the God I serve Shakotos Kata Shapras Katakosia Braketo Toto Tete Ele Katos Ketaproskia Rakata Batos Soteriata in the name of Jesus any family tied down by witchcraft any family tied down by ordinances I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus liberty tonight liberty tonight hallelujah I'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of Jesus Christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus Christ that family does not need healing that family needs deliverance I command deliverance right now I command deliverance for that family now I command deliverance now when I was praying I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what years some of them connected to families and the Lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands I want to pray now I believe in deliverance I really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as I'm praying for you now I'm seeing a rope a rope I'm seeing a rope and the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what I want to do now I want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and see come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer i'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people 
I see a lot of wild spirits, wicked, ancient spirits. All shapes and all sizes, they must go now. Just one instruction. I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice. Now listen, don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you. It doesn't mean you are possessed, no. That's a different thing altogether. Some of you as you are here, you are representing your family. Nothing may be wrong with you as a person, but because of your family. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have anointed this place as a place of fire, a place of grace and deliverance. There are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages. And in the name of Jesus, at the sound of my voice, may your voice be in my voice. May your grace be in my voice. I send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three, anyone that shouts that name, let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils. Go now. Go now. Ancestral spirits. Spirit husbands. Spirit wives. Yokes of darkness. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ancient spirits. Spirits that have been generational. Familiar spirits. I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm seeing a number of ladies. There are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams. In the name of Jesus, where are those ladies? Fire is looking for them now. Shakoto Soto Tetiata. Ekelatos Kopriata. I separate you from those spirits. I separate you from those covenants. I separate you from those ordinances. Any man, any woman, any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son He's here. where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad I want to pray for you. You came believing. Eh? August, is it Augustus? I'm hearing the name Augustus. Augustus. Is it Augustus? Is it Augustus, Augustine, something Augustus? Please, if that's your name, let me just talk to you quickly. I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that my sister come this lady this one not you you are not a woman my brother this come lift your hands shout over, over. forever in the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family it's over in the name of Jesus Christ sir 
if you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you? There is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son. And I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus. Over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper. By the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel. Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine. Come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine. I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. Sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. Two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel too. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's first October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Ye two. Ye two. What is ye two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or ye two or ye two? Something like that. Ye two. Something that has to do with ye two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Ye two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Ye two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Your miracle has come. Your miracle has come. You love Jesus, my friend. Look at me. You love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Why is she here? Your dad. There is a copper that I want to pray for. 
there is a copper something is coming on you my dear let me pray for you don't worry if i if all i do i, I just lay my hands on you um it, it doesn't matter please why are you here you are gabriel gabriel in the name of jesus christ let me pray for this guy god is giving you favor great favor great favor in the name of jesus christ there's there's bad luck in your life and your family but it's going now in the name of jesus christ it's going that's why you're here gabriel Aleku, is there? This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku? Eh? Aleku, Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? He said, "What?" Why are they coming out? What is why you they name somebody after the idol and the Lord is saying who, who is the person whose name this is it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State, but the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying this is like somebody's name. Ale Ale Ku was Ale something like that. Ale Ku also. Who is this? Huh? What's that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, they are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes, sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God You'll be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata, Breketo Skote Satariatosia, Leketabosh, out of their lives now, out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical in I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. Jumai, 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 is that your name? 
well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai, I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit you must go now. Hallelujah. Please just allow me. This is Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of Jesus, there is disfavor in your life. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. Anybody who plans to bless you, something turns them away from you. I hold your hands and I release you right now. In Jesus' name. I want to pray in a hurry. There is a family. All the men, it doesn't matter whether you are hardworking, whether you go to school or not. But the Lord is asking me to pray for that family right now. Lord, where are they? Shakataba rota keyadaba. I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside outside under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now Arise now, Shekoto Sokoto Paka. The men in that family arise now. Arise now in the name of Jesus. There's somebody here, you lost your job in the month of March. March, you lost your job. Please, where is that person? You were working, but in the month of March. I want us to hurry up. I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time. The month of March. I don't know if you are, except if he's a person in his family, maybe overflow tree. Then they can just locate him. You lost your job. There's something. You lost your job in the month of March. Where is that person? Please, quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You are a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you will get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where have you been praying for? Huh? Sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. Bank the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people, and since there was nobody to stand for him, they joined everybody and threw them out. But in the name of Jesus. Whatever should not leave you and left you. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. I call it back to your life now. Hear me. I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. 
Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three? Yes. You sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which as hospital? An Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see, we don't ask this question because we're prying into your privacy. I hope you're not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job. Back to that place? No, 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 no. Another job, sir. Another job? Yes. Do you believe if I pray for you, God will give you a job? I believe that. Do you know why I'm prophesying to you in the open? So that you will testify in the open too. What's your name, sir? I'm Paul. Paul? Yes, sir. God will give you a job, eh? Amen. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord. Listen. So when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the earth has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You will go and return with it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get now. I to Mama, I want to get you now. I want to get you now. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression, let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. In your name. That girl, look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, 
we take our time we you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time our time is very limited praise the lord now this is what we're going to do um while i give you the prayer request please listen carefully those please listen carefully i want to pray particularly particularly no matter what overflow you are in if you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb don't come now but when it's time to come i want you to come i want to pray for you by myself but any other issue those inside i want you to come stand here and then part of overflow two maybe half of overflow two can join them now overflow one please you go to your projector stand overflow two and those spilling over at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three if god grants grace and there's time i'll just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we're together overflow three move to your projector stand hallelujah and we're going to pray very quickly please if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you don't worry we have to pray quickly so that i'll focus and do other things i want everybody to receive will that be fine but those who are trusting god for fruit of the womb whether you're in overflow one two three wherever i like you to please come those online doesn't matter any nation those following us online doesn't matter your nation you're trusting god for a miracle i want you to connect right now by faith hallelujah so we're going to do three things at the same time number one you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers number two you're going to be praying the prayers that i'll give you while preparing our faith and then number three will come out is that all right praise the lord so let's do that very quickly very quickly please you're trusting god or you came with a sick person now is your time to come out please quickly 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 jesus we bless you i don't know you reign Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, is what we've come to do. Casting crowds, we are lifting hands, bowing hearts, is what we've come to do. It's in your name. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, we will coordinate. We will make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. Ah. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um, Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. 
Is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Um, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father, we agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We will need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in Overflow 3 with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do what only you know how to do. Come and change my story. Give me a testimony Do what only you know how to do Can I hear you say do what only you know Do what only you know how to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you do know Do what only you know how to do Hey, come and change Come and change the story Give me a testimony
Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you. Say, oh, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Prophesy. Tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka pas kata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more that should come quickly. Hapo koto pro koto sekete malalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your own. Mighty in this land. Mighty. Mighty on your throne. You mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here, I turn it to a testimony now. I turn it to a testimony now. Strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now. Lord, I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me tell you. There are things written here that except the writer, if you read it, you won't even believe that it can happen. But I pray, the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request, a representation of every man's pain here, I call on that God, answer by fire. Answer by fire. Father, there are issues here that are impossible with men. Some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly. But in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I prophesy. Let there be strange miracles. 
Strange miracles now. For all those connecting from whenever nation, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you here. The same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities, you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus. Every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted, we force them from their hiding places to appear now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever must die for this request to be answered, in the name of Jesus, the ground opens and swallows them. Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. It's for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes on you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery divine recovery let me tell you something whatever leaves you can come back to your life are you hearing now there are people who have lost things I'm about to call it into your life now and as that anointing comes on you just know that it's your time of recovery Lord where are they where are those who have lost things that need recovery shakata kata kata Shakata kata kata proskete kata everywhere everywhere 
everywhere inside outside outside the grace for recovery the grace for recovery i release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they shakatos keta brakatos gakatekatos inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother but satan has his own plan for you in the name of jesus Kai. wickedness is real i held these ladies and the lord showed me a vision i'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and i'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot lord i don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh i'm praying you may not even know you are the one i say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough 
in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now who say now who is that please let her come please quickly you are who say now what's your name huh? who say now I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too. Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to. I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo, Taraba, in the name of Jesus, the Lord gives you a miracle. Now, in the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away. Everybody is getting a job, something that is simple. When is your turn? Let me tell you something. Hardship is not poverty. Hardship is a spirit. You get things, but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years. It's hardship. It's a cost. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You can't go, give God glory under that kind of condition. Simple things. You ask somebody out, I want to marry you. They answer you after four years. It's a cost. Are you, are you a demon? It's a cause. You start a building project, you finish after 10 years. It's not a blessing. A hard life is worse than poverty. This is what the devil has put on the life of this lady. I, I take it away now. In the name of Jesus. And I use her as a point of contact. If there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening, shakatos katabakata. In the name of Jesus, I command whatever it is, let the fire of God come upon it now. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I release favor. In the name of Jesus, favor. I'm seeing someone, you are into printing. Please, let's hurry up. We have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing you print like um, posters whatever it is you design you print banners please who is that person i want to pray for you you are into printing uh, i will pray for you but the person i'm seeing i'm not saying if you want to do it if you are currently doing it you are into it for how long? Since my, my child, sir. I was born into print. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina? Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in Kagzara. In because the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police because the person will say that he went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? I'm into printing. What printing? 
Books every day in every place. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. You want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble eh? in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for me now. I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Yes, sir. Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? What's your name? Hassan. Hassan. You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family, but you look smart. You don't dress, you see no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed, you look smart, eh? you are my friend, I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this, it will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this, it will be difficult for you to get many good things, <laughs> appearance is the seed for acceptance, don't say it doesn't matter, dress well, the house Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. Um, something is leaving you. That devil must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are into printing too? In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is somebody you sew clothes. You are a serious tailor. But for a long time. This is from April. Everything just went down. I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pray for you. 
if you did something wrong and they pursued you when you come here you ask for mercy you don't complain even if it's my shop and you don't do well i will drive you everybody wants to succeed so let's let's be very honest when we are before god praise god when you are before god if you tell the truth that's even what will provoke his mercy you understand if you if if i employ you don't be embarrassed my dear but if i employ you and you are not bringing me anything and i'm paying you why won't i downsize and drive you so don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you i'm not seeing the person as a wicked person no something happened and it's your fault eh you need the mercy of god and god will help you don't make it you see that if if it's not revelation now you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked my prayer for you is that god will bless you too huh but please don't be angry i'm not seeing that person that person did exactly what i would have done hmm? father in the name of jesus show your daughter mercy if you need mastery may god improve your skill may god improve your value and i pray for you in jesus name god will not leave you hungry the god we serve will change your story tonight in the name of jesus you experience his mercy you experience his grace madam you are a tailor where samaru market. samaru market you have your shop yes sir i want to pray for you yes sir you're a good woman but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes you don't used to finish on time madam i'm going to pray for you the lord is showing me don't be embarrassed this is a family it may just need you are a very good tailor i'm not i'm not against you don't feel bad and there's some people that's what i'm seeing now yes, and there's problem now they're even angry yes sir because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion uh, and you didn't finish and now the person is really angry so these are some of the things we are talking about as god steps in let's allow his mercy just tell them sorry because you i want you would have been far more than you are now but there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory hold my hands you must go now to draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. Listen, I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. Hmm? It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand? Sana, please. You are a student and you are doing it. You people too, you are tailors. See, the tailors are now coming out. We'll pray for your business. Please, all tailors, do a good job. We believe in excellence. Don't say, I'm praying for you publicly. It's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes. Do a good job. Praise the Lord. Do a good job and we'll pray for you. There are too many people here. Too school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown in two weeks we are graduating our students 243 students imagine that you get the contract to do their gown if you do a good work god will honor you if you do a nonsense work people will not endorse you just because it's the house of god praise the lord my brother you want to study where oh you are a student yes okay in the name of jesus christ may the lord grant you grace god will raise help for you in the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the spirit. Hi. This lady is oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. You didn't come out for tailor, you came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the tailor now. You see what let me pray for her please i see a wild animal i'm looking at this lady and i'm seeing Kai. lord jesus mercy i command every legal access satan has over you when this lady gets angry she can swallow you 
it's not our fault it's a spirit be free now look how many people are holding one lady in the name of Jesus I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit let me advise you if you want to enter a relationship pray if you want to marry pray you listen to what I'm telling you you see the body of Christ we don't listen and we do I'm not saying this lady is a witch please don't get me wrong but I'm saying you should pray now I'm not condemning her but imagine that you're in a relationship with this lady and you married last week you see this if this lady is angry that spirit will manifest no matter how strong you are she will beat the living daylight out of you when that spirit leaves her she will tell you sorry and then it will come back this is what God is helping us to solve are we together now imagine you're a customer and just because you gave her 10,000 you insulted her when that spirit rises she will tear your clothes or beat you Lord Jesus we invoke your mercy upon her in Jesus name madam you're a tailor too where judge judge I'll pray for you you're a tailor too where you're a natural state in the name of Jesus may God increase you I speak to your business let it increase experience increase delay lives your life in Jesus name I pray amen if you're in business please lift your hands I want to speak over your life please believe the prayer I'm praying for you there is an anointing that makes people prosper why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since, so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too? I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please, don't, don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you are a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. In Jesus' name, that yoke leaves you now. In the name of Jesus, grace for you grace for you grace for you go and increase go and multiply my dear go and increase go and multiply increase madam multiply go and increase go and multiply go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase go and multiply go and increase whether you're a tailor or not, after this you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen, let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs, you are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband. 
somebody's wife is not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things, no. No, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen. Please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas, what you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field. So that it will open doors for you. May someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are trying to sell properties. There's nobody to buy. But if someone comes to buy it, God will use it to honor you. I call somebody to buy it now. In the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow. One, two, three, those following online. The kind of favor you have never seen in your life. May my God make it happen in your life now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Esther, the village girl, became Esther the queen through favor. Ruth, the hungry woman who was about to die, became Ruth, the wife of Boaz. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but the favor that would change your story in one month, I release it to you right now. I release it to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman there, please. There are people from January till now, you have never testified. It's not that you don't want to come out, but nothing has happened. I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare, may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level. You have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open. I open that door for you right now. I open that door for you right now. Any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body, you get healed right now. Two weeks you are back again. You get healed three weeks you are back again. I set you free right now. Help that. I set you free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel. No love. No joy. When someone is about to rise, a troublemaker comes. I declare, may the Prince of Peace, Satoskala Prakatosiata, May the Prince of Peace step into our homes now. Step into our families now. You are beautiful. You love God. You are a well-mannered lady. No husband. Jakotos kaparakata. Skalabata kato sata priyata. Sheketo koto I'm led to pray this prayer. You don't hear me pray it all the time. But I decree and declare. Every lady here. Ready for a relationship. A godly one. I call your husband to your life now.
every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of Jesus the God that can lift a man from a dunghill may that God lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle I release the finisher's anointing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all those writing exams shakatos prati alakatos in the name of Jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well I release it upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of Jesus we give you admission here I don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes I need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of God zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with God and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, I've been praying but I've not seen result and you stop I release upon you grace to go back grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar grace to go back to the prayer altar hear me those of you who as you are seeking money you are forgetting God as you are seeking marriage you are forgetting god it's not that you want to do so life is pushing you away from god whatever is drawing you away from god i call starting now listen we're rounding up god and prosperity can go hand in hand god and marriage can go hand in hand whatever must make you leave god to get it is of the devil may it live your life forever now keep your hands lifted the last prayer point God is looking for men and women of the spirit simple one minute prayers that will change your life now lift your hands I want to pray for something to come upon these hands listen mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs, wonders, diverse manifestations. 
I will not end this meeting without this impartation. I'm praying now at the count of three. Let an unction, let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand. One, two, three. Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. Hear me. The grace to win souls like never before. I know it's old school. I'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work so winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now The last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus Father, we give you all the praise. Every expectation you brought here, whether I mentioned it or not, I'm agreeing with you now. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle testimony after testimony hallelujah if there is anyone here in ministry a man of god a woman of god you have a fellowship you have a church i pray for you the fire that is here carry it back to your church carry it back to your fellowship carry it back to your place of ministry in the name of jesus christ hallelujah wave your hands and give jesus praise thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah everyone keep standing you are here our time is gone everyone please stand you are here you are worshiping with us for the first time overflow one overflow two and inside this is your first time please make your way here overflow three just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me let's honor them koinonia quickly <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord please keep standing two minutes we are done let's honor them they are coming may god bless all of you who continually invite people to come listen let me tell you one truth i am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of god to people when you invite people you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger yes you increase them in numerical strength but the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity to have encounters hallelujah for all of you who take out time to invite people, may the God I serve bless you. Clear the way for them as they come. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. 
tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.